Hi my friends, today we model this part, three holes, equidistance, grooves and a cut here. Here is the drawing with all the necessary dimensions. It is uh, about uh, this part from my 100 collection of parts. We start by creating this contour with uh, dimensions 69, 43, internal 24.5, these two grooves with radius 1 placed at 2.5 and 2.5 from these two faces. 4 millimeters is this, 34.8 is the length. Here is also a cut. Okay. New empty document. Take care of this uh, workbench part design and a new sketch a new sketch in this plane where we draw lines vertical left down left up, left, down, and back here. Of course, this must be horizontal. Then we move uh, this and this a while. And we place two circles on this line. They are equal. I select one, I select the other, and I apply equal. We apply trim to this internal and this internal and also this and this. We don't have this uh, horizontal here, neither here. So we select this and this and we apply horizontal to both. Then you see they are not aligned. Okay, I select this line, this point, and coincident. This line, this point, and also coincident. Okay, now dimensions. This is four millimeters. This is 2.5. The distance between this point and this is 2.5. The radius is 1. Here we have also the same dimensions of 2.5. Now we can move uh, this up and down. We can make changes but we start with this dimension from 
the the axis to this line to be 69 divided by 2 and then the distance from the line to the line 24.5 divided by 2 So this is uh, 43 divided by 2 this is 44 divided by 2 and the total length of this is 34.8 now we have a fully constrained sketch close revolve but not that axis but x axis okay here is a chamfer of 2 at 45 we select this circle or edge and we apply chamfer of 2 okay the flange has a cut, this one, at 26 from the center. We select this face, taking care of this uh, small line. And we apply sketch. This was rotated. So we apply external geometry this circle and we create an arc with center from somewhere here to here we place the two ends on the same horizontal then we draw a line between them and the distance of 26 close pocket and we apply through all because when somebody changes this uh, thickness maybe is more than five millimeters as uh, by default okay another cut is this one with dimensions two and five we create a new sketch in the same plane section and we apply a rectangle with the dimension of 2 and 5 we project or we select the external geometry for this line and we apply coincident of this point with this line coincident now we have to place it uh, symmetrical 
and we do this by selecting this point this point and this axis symmetrical green fully constrained we apply you see here that uh, rectangle yes we apply pocket we apply dimension through all but revert it we want to have this cut on the side with this other cut okay now the holes countersink with dimensions 5.2 12 90 degrees we start with this one and we multiply on three instances we select this face a new sketch with a point a point placed right here on this uh, axis now you see that we cannot get out from this axis the distance between these two is half of uh, 56 56 divided by 2 close now you see here that point yes we turn back uh, this we select this face then we place a circle on this axis and the distance of the circle to the center is uh, 56 divided by 2 close and hole we don't use this circle but we place dimensions diameter of 5.2 through all is uh, uh, this then we select countersink you see here a chamfer but we apply 12 instead of uh, that dimension and we have the final hole good we select that hole and we apply polar pattern polar pattern about this axis and a number of three holes not two as you can see this axis is accepted okay very good very nice that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye